Hello, my Aquarius. This is your daily for the 17th through the 18th. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see. We have Express Your Creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. Let's see what messages Tarot has for my friends. Express your creativity. Hmm. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> we do have a hand in how our lives play out. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Very fiery energy here with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is somebody that is um, this is somebody that's attractive, very attractive, um, very sensual. They are somebody that, you know, they do a lot for everybody in their circle, however they can. Beautiful cards here. Um, I think that a lot of you are really, um, you're attracted to somebody. There's somebody that I feel, that I feel that you guys want to be with. Um, there may be two different people here for some of you. One of them, both of them are attractive. Maybe one of them is a little older than the other one. One is a little more mature. Um, maybe has their ish together just a little bit more. But nevertheless, these are both very attractive people. The Empress is a little more grounded. Um, very stable. Um, you know, they they embody like this, this growth, this, you know, abundance like they make stuff happen they are like the magician almost they make they make dollars out of cents okay so the the empress is a little more grounded a little more stable sometimes the queen of wands can be a little set in her ways um she likes things the way she likes them so can the empress but i think the level of maturity is is um and the groundedness is where the empress kind of like you know the, this empress is the queen of cups is the queen of wands the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords all wrapped up in one okay guys so that is what the empress is she embodies it all but the queen of wands is not far behind okay so we have um Aries, Leo, Sag, energy possibly, Gemini, um, maybe Libra, Taurus even, individual that um, is present here. Now, others of you are trying to choose between somebody that you really, really have a strong attraction for and yourself. It's like, do you want to be on your own and just like do your own thing? But this person is very appealing to you. Okay, let's see why this is happening. Why is this happening for my Aquarius friends? Hmm. This person's very strong, Miss Queen of Wands here. Very strong. Yeah, you're you're trying to figure out <laughs> if you can deal with um, Miss Queen of Wands, or this person is trying to figure out if they can deal with you. One of the two. Okay. Yeah. I think this is more so um, the storyline where you guys are, you're, you're very attracted to this person. They're very appealing, but at the same time, it's like, do you want to give up, you know, give up what you have going on right now here? It's like, do you, do you, you know, choose to be with this person do you choose to forgive this person if they've done something to you or do you choose to be single i mean is what i'm getting here for a lot of you it's a choice between this person and yourself maybe you're you know you being single do you choose to settle down or do you choose to be single Okay, it's what I'm getting. Let's see what the influence is for you guys. Hmm. 
I think, you know, you're fighting to keep your independence here. Um, maybe this person is a little mothering. Maybe they are argumentative. Maybe they try to chastise you. They try to win, you know, get their point of view across and it really doesn't matter how they do it. Um, is what I'm getting here. They, they maybe love you one day and you can feel it and they exude it and they express it. And then the next day they're wanting to cut your head off. I mean, yeah. So there is a choice to be made here, my friends. Let's see what the advice is for you guys. Hmm. Another Aries card there. Um, I would say the advice is to really kind of give this some, give this some thought. Um, to gain, to keep your own stability for sure, to keep your own independence, I feel. But it doesn't mean that you have to be independent from this person. Like you can be with this person and still, you know, keep maintain your your independence. You don't have to totally give in to somebody to be with them um, if you want this relationship. You don't have to totally lose yourself, okay? So that is advice for my Aquarius friends, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.